Hey everybody, what's up and welcome back to today's video guys and today guys I'm going to go ahead and be showing you how to change buffer size in GarageBand. This is a very simple thing to do, so make sure to watch this quick and easy video till the very end and follow my steps correctly so you can make sure this works the same for you and you can do this yourself. But yeah guys, let's get straight into it. So guys, the first thing you want to do is to open up the official GarageBand application on your mobile phone if you've not already. If you do not have the application, just go to the App Store and download it. And after opening it up, you'll be greeted by this home page right here where you can find all the instruments. This is the main page. You have your audio recorder as well and so on. So basically, guys, changing the buffer size in GarageBand used to be available right here in the settings option. Once you open up any of the instruments in the upper right corner, the clicking the settings option would give you that option. But guys, since they have updated recently, they have removed the option to change the buffer size. So you can no longer change your buffer size. If you're facing any latency issues, you have to check your internet connection and so on. And if you are continuing with facing issues, even though you tried everything, you'll want to go ahead and contact Apple support to fix your problem. But they have removed the option for changing your buffer size it is no longer available to use but has been previously so there is no other way to uh, uh, option to access it except contacting apple support but yeah guys i hope this video this video was helpful so if it was make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you guys thanks for watching take care and bye